Yeah, and how about Kittredge coming up with another big rebound? He's already had a tip jam that we talked about. That's the biggest rebound of the game for the Thunder to lead to this Lou Dort free throw opportunity. We're all not at 117, folks. Thunder, 28 out of 32 at the free throw line. It's been wearing out the charity stripe. This one's a big one for Dort. To potentially give the Thunder the lead. We've been going back and forth all night. Double digit lead changes. And Dort taking his eighth free throw of the night. And he got it. Portland is not going to use the timeout down by a point. The ball is in the hands of Lillard. He'll move quickly. Charges right down the lane. Oh, what a reverse for Damian Lillard to put Portland back on top. Somehow found a crease, somehow found the space. And on a historic night for the Trailblazer, he at the moment puts Portland on top. possession, Michael. Down by a point. 119, 118 with 31 seconds left. They've got all the options on the floor. Oh, absolutely. You don't need to take a three. You've got plenty of time here. Full use of the 24 second shot clock. Dort bounces off the grant. Kicks it out to Isaiah Joe. Joe with a step back three on the way. It was halfway down. Dort the offensive rebound. It's going to be an offensive foul. James Campers on the baseline makes the call. With 20 seconds left, the Thunder have been living on those offensive rebounds all night long. And Dort just did lower the shoulder. And it's Lillard. Of all players, right there surrendering his body. Wow. And now the Thunder will go for the steal. Go for the trap. Ball gets inbounded and they throw it away off the hand of Simons. Right back to the Thunder, the ball goes. And not only that, Joe, you're on your half of the floor. And then you got the full 19 seconds of the remaining game clock remaining. Oh, that's a tough one there. Simons wasn't really sure who that pass was going through. Had a lot of zip on it. They've been going to Lillard right directly behind him. Nonetheless, it's Thunder basketball. Thunder basketball with 19 seconds. Shea, the trigger man. Got it into Kenridge. And now we've got a collision, and it's going to be a blocking foul on Justice Winslow. And with the Thunder in the bonus, two free throws for the best free throw shooter in the NBA, and now Chauncey Billups is going to challenge. Portland is challenging the ruling of a blocking foul. Well, this game has just cranked it up. Some wild stuff going on. Some huge momentum swinging plays. Some momentum swinging calls. Shea got it right back from Kenrich. And then into the chest of Justice Winslow. So this a critical call. Critical challenge. It's either going to be an offensive foul on Shea or... It's going to be SGA at the free throw line. What do you think? Oh, look like at the end there. Watch Winslow's feet. He's moving there at the end to try to get in front of Shea. Looks like he's out of bounds, I 
not really sure. You can really tell from that angle. There's a good picture of the replay center back in Secaucus, New Jersey. Following the review, the challenge is unsuccessful. It is a blocking foul, and the game clock is reset to 17 4. Their explanation from James Capers. Two free throws for SGA. Orman out of challenges. This is the best look. And you're right, Michael. He's still moving over to his right laterally, perpendicular to that Portland bench. That's a great call by the official. I mean, that's kind of a bang bang play at the end of the game. And looks like they got it right. And Shea will go to the free throw line. Well, I'm not really sure if Portland. Wanted to put the Thunder on the free throw line with a chance to tie and go ahead. That's the benefit of being in the bonus. And so two critical ones for SGA. Portland does have a timeout left to advance the basketball. Now we're tied at 